Hello, 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 and welcome back to Ark. Finally back on the regularly scheduled videos stream of things. I just logged in a second ago cooking some meat there, uh, which I actually need to grab more of. There we go. Uh, and consume... Oh, no, I don't need to eat yet. Let's see if we can get more fish here. There's fish everywhere in this little pond, it seems. I just went into this pond for a second, and I got my fill of meat, basically. Come back here! There we go. And these coelacanth are so useless. Like, they basically just swim up onto this little tiny bank here. These rocks here. And then they kind of get themselves stuck, more or less. And then I can just scoop them up. There's another fish right there. I mean, there's just so many of them. Um, I easily came out with 20 pieces of meat, raw, raw meat, um, in one little tiny excursion to that lake. And there was another bunch of meat there, too. So, I'm fine on meat for now, I think. Doing pretty good on meat. I just wanted to finish destroying this. Finally, I was destroying one of the walls. I finally destroyed the wall. And then I said to myself, wait a minute. Why would I do that? Like, if I destroy the base, this foundation, then it, the other walls would just fall down. Why didn't I do that? I also found a glitch. Like, you know, when I'm swinging my whatever it is I'm swinging, uh, the whole camera kind of moves. Like... You see how the camera is moving up and down? Up and down, up and down, up, down, up, down, you know? If I first step onto the foundation and then go down, the camera doesn't move. And then all of a sudden, did you see that? It like flicked itself. I'll do it again. I'll do it uh, to this wall here. Watch, I go up, I go down. And see how the camera's not moving, and all of a sudden it like spazzes and then catches up. It's like camera's not moving and spaz. <laughs> I don't know why it does that, but a little bit of a glitch. Uh, see, no movement, and well, there we go. Spaz as it destroys everything. Finally, finally. So now I can place my own platform. Finally, um, right here, I guess, is as good a place as any. I feel like I should make it bigger already. What do I need? Fiber. Do I have any in here? I do. Grab out that thatch, the splint too. Grab everything. Uh, needs quite a bit of thatch. I'll build three of them. So there's one. Okay, and two. And now three. Alright. It's got a little thatch foundation going. Always the good start to uh, any project. I think, for the most part, I'm going to actually be building everything out of thatch. It seems kind of weird. I know that wood looks a lot better. I might convert the buildings into wood, I'll be honest. But, definitely the walls. The walls of my enclosure area. Uh, they will, by and large, be uh, made out of thatch. Because I don't think that the other people who are on this server... Um, I think that we're adding a couple more people. There's been talks of adding quite a few more people to the server. Uh, who kind of just want a place to hang out and play. As we add those people, maybe it'll become more of an issue. The looting and raiding and stuff. But I, I don't think we're a group where we all get along. Even if we don't, if you know what I mean. Like, even if we were playing the game in, a, in such a way that we wanted to raid other people's bases and stuff. Um, I think that we'd get along in such a way that the walls wouldn't be an issue. And I can just build all my walls out of thatch. 
That should be okay. Should be all right. Um, let's see. I wanted to upgrade myself a bit more. My fortification. Maybe melee damage. I'm not sure. Maybe melee damage. Well, you see, I wanted to upgrade my melee damage, but then that's not really useful in the later levels. Like, after I get a, a dinosaur tamed, a raptor tamed, or a smilodon tamed, or whatever... I'm not going to need my own melee damage to be high. So, maybe I'll just keep working on fortitude. Take these. Uh, berries and all that stuff. Hmm. Don't really need it. What can I craft here? I can get some boots on. Possibly. I don't know the, the recipe for boots. I see. Hmm. That's an issue. Anyway, I'll build a wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight I need to build. That's a lot. Um, yeah. Can I build that many? I th yeah, I can. Okay. All right. Put that in the third slot, and away we go. Come on. Get up on top of here so that it places correctly. There we go. There's one. Two. I really like the crafting system, the way that things snap together in this game. Um, I know that the new Fallout is planning to have a similar snapping system and stuff. And in that system, in the new Fallout, you can actually rotate things as well, which I think would be very, very beneficial to this game as well. I'm not going to put another wall up just yet, actually, because otherwise I won't be able to get back in. And that would be an issue. Um, so what can I do in the meantime? Maybe I can just, like, build it too high. I don't know. Do I want to build it that high? I don't know. Haven't really thought about it. I guess I will. I guess I'll build it that high. Seems like a pretty big height, but at the same time, I don't want to be kind of claustrophobic inside this little house either. Okay, and here's all that meat is now cooked. Very good. Very good. Um, I could tame a Parasaur. I kind of said that I wouldn't. I kind of said that I wouldn't. Let's see, what can I... What do I need? Thatch, more thatch. Okay. I kind of just want to save up and get a Raptor. I feel like if I spend time taming a Parasaur, I don't really know what the point of that would be. I mean, I guess he can carry a lot of stuff. There's that. But I feel like if I got myself a Parasaur and went traveling with it, he would just die. He would not survive very long. He would just die. I'd be upset. There's no real point in that. make I can only make one more well, now I need fiber okay time to get some fiber so this is essentially like the basic resource gathering section of the game still I'm sorry that we're not past that we're several episodes in like almost 30 episodes maybe or wait has it no it's not quite 30 episodes yet I don't think um, and we're still like the equivalent of tree punching here. We're just gathering basic resources. Um, but maybe what I would like to do is go hunting. Wonder what it would take. I, I guess I need to make a slingshot, a basic slingshot or something. I don't know. How do I capture a raptor in the state that I'm in? 
That is my question. How do I do that? Just throw all this in there. Actually, I should eat this. Let's eat this. But I'm not going to eat those. They're just going to go to waste. That, 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 that. Spoiled meat. I'm going to save for now. Stone. These seeds. Okay. Let's eat some of this stuff. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Bring my food all the way up. My food capacity is not that high. There. I'm probably going to upgrade my food eventually. Just so that like when I'm in caves and stuff, I can last a lot longer without needing to eat. Um, But yeah, my fortitude is already at 8. Might do my health next. Just, just to have some health on me. Just so that a dinosaur can take a nip out of me or two. So now what I'm doing. Um, wait a minute. This wall. I haven't placed this wall. So let me run back and place it. See if I can place it right on this corner here. No. It's right there. Let's get this torch going. I'm going to walk in this direction. I know for a fact. Ah. See, here's my dilemma right now. What's going through my mind? There are raptors in this direction. There are smilodons in this direction. By that mountain, really. Um, if I get a smilodon tamed... I can't even ride it for a long time. For lots and lots of levels. I won't be able to ride it. So, what can I really do about that? There goes my torch. Do I need flint? I need thatch, wood, and fiber. No, that's the wrong thing. Uh, I need wood, flint, and one stone. Okay. Piece of wood. All I need. Can't see in the dark. If there's wood. Stone and... Stone and uh, flint. That's what I need now. There's a stone. Pick it up. Pick up the stone. Come on. Okay. Let's uh, upgrade my health. I'm going to learn how to make a slingshot, I think. Can I yet? There it is. Uh, ah, but you know, at the same time, learning that is kind of useless. Oh, oh, well. I'll learn it. I think I need to learn that before I can learn later weapons anyway. So, learn that and then maybe boots. Boots or a doorway. Let's learn a doorway. There we go. Kind of need a doorway. Okay, flint. Give me flint. Stone. Flint. Okay. Ooh. Blue spire. What level am I at? I'm at level six. Woohoo! Level six. Walking this way. I'm going to run all the way this way and see if I can find myself a Smilodon. Um, probably really dumb because I don't think even when I was a high level I could take one out. Okay. Dilophosaur there. Wonder if I can kill him. Should I chance it? I'm going to chance it. I'm going to try this guy. What level is he now? I can't tell what level he is because I hid that. He 
He was level eight. Okay. Took him down. Yeah. And I hid that, didn't I? I hid that. The names and stuff. I can bring that back. It's not that important, I guess. Might be more important if I come around the Smilodons and need to know which level one is, but... I think we'll we'll see for now. Maybe I can get the Smilodon to start fighting something else, and then that something else weakens it. Like a Triceratops, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to find out soon. Smilodons are like over there. Trust me, I know this. Because that's where Winter's house is. And she's over there by the Smilodons. Got to kind of watch the, the uh, shoreline here. Because I've seen raptors and Carnotaurus right around here too. And I don't doubt that other things may spawn as well. Like even Spinosaurus might come into this little inlet here. Okay, lots and lots and lots of herbivores. So I think what I might try to do... If I see a Smilodon, I can outrun one. I know I can. Um, so what I might try to do is run it towards these guys and then see if I can't get them to make it weak. But at the same time, I don't want them to kill it. Hmm. Might be tough. Might be tough. There's a... Triceratops up there too. Okay, this is where Winter's house is. It's like right over here somewhere. Right over here. There it is. Tyrannodon, come down so I can tame you. Please. Oh, that would be so awesome. If I could tame one of those right now. But then I couldn't fly it either way, so. But at least I'd have one. At least if I could tame one, I could have one. Alright, so far. So far I don't see anything. I wonder if I could just walk towards the mountain and find one. Kind of want to see one near the shoreline, though. And then what's going to happen to me? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, if I if I could only just tame that guy. It'd be so amazing. I think I could. I think I can smack this guy until I could tame him. He's kind of a cool color. Green and yellow. Ah. I want a smile it on. I want a saber tooth cat. I keep calling them Smilodons, but I'll just say Sabertooth Cat. There's a mammoth up there. Right up there. Seems maybe like he's stuck. I'm not sure. There's a Brontosaur who's also maybe stuck. The way that he's glitching like he is. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to go... Up into this forest just a little bit. I'll keep my eyes open. Hopefully I won't die. But our quest for the Smilodon, the Sabertooth Cat, has now begun.